Hey there, today I'm sharing a tool that lets you export animation data from Houdini to After Effects. Now there's already a tool out there that does this, it's called Houdini 2 AE, it's been around for a long time, it's amazing, lots of people have used it. Unfortunately it doesn't really work with the current versions of Houdini, at least not without tampering with it in some way or another. So I decided to build one myself, it's mostly based around uh, Blender's After Effects export and reverse engineered from their code, but it also adds some new features and improves on a few things that Houdini 2 AE does differently. So uh, the first thing, as you can tell when I have it selected, is uh, it uses normal Houdini UI. So you can use expressions in here. Uh, you could link the export button to your render output. That way when you render, it also exports out a new JavaScript file. It also, uh, besides supporting camera animation and nulls or object level animation, it also supports point data, which I will show off here in a second, which can be useful in some situations. It also works with tops, so if you're doing some kind of procedural setup where you have to knock out 50 variations of a scene or something, but want to import all of them into After Effects, you can automate that process uh, just using a ROP fetch in tops. It's also quite robust, so even if you use expressions in your camera or you know have a bunch of nulls that control things, you don't need to bake out your camera. You can just use the camera with the expressions on it and it should work just fine. And finally, uh, one cool feature is that when you import it to After Effects, you have the option of creating a new sequence. But if you already have your sequence set up, you have all your renders imported, and you just want to bring the camera information into the sequence you already have, uh, you can do that too. So I'll show all that off in a second. Now, how do you set it up? First things first, let's drop down the After Effects export node. Then in here, you can set out your output, your comp name, start and end frames. Now for the scale, 100 is a good default value since After Effects uses pixels as their distance versus Sodini using meters or whatever the one and is in Houdini but you know depending on your scene if you're working with a big city scene you might want to set the scale lower or if you're working on a really small scale you might want to set it higher then uh, you just drop in your camera object here uh, you can select an old object if you just have one you can drop it in here if you have multiple you can open this and uh, select multiple in this case, I'm just going to do one. And that's enough. You could hit export, uh, then import into After Effects. But let's say in the scene I wanted to bring in birds, but for some reason the birds needed to be comped in later, and we didn't want to do them in 3D. So in this case, I just have points that actually have like normals and up vectors on them. But you could also, you know, use an orient attribute to do that. And we want to import that data as nulls into After Effects. We can do that too. So this is kind of an advanced feature. You enable it under here, advanced. And then we can drop this bird points in here. Uh, a few things to note when you use points, uh, you have to make sure that these points uh, are consistent throughout the whole sequence. So uh, you can use a particle simulation where more and more points are added to the simulation as time goes on or points disappear. You want to have the same amount of points throughout all the whole sequence. Also would not recommend doing this with hundreds or thousands of points for one year After Effects comp is going to be a mess, uh, but also you might run into some performance issues. So just keep this to the most important points that you need to have. That's also why I tucked this away under the advanced features because I didn't want people to accidentally just load some kind of crazy amount in here and cause things to crash. All right, so when everything's set up, we just hit export, let it load for a second, and then we can dive into After Effects. Once in After Effects, we just go under File, Scripts, Run Script File. Go to the place where your JavaScript file is exported to, double click that. Now you have the option to load a new comp or load it into your active comp. We don't have an active comp right now, so I'm just going to do new comp. And then we dive in here. We should see a few different elements. I went ahead and imported the background plate, just a quick flipbook render to kind of show that indeed all our information did properly transfer. We even have our camera focal distance changing throughout the shot um, and everything's lining up perfectly. So now you could go in and add some stock footage for the chimney and some footage for the birds and yeah, you're pretty much good to go. Now if you already set your sequence up beforehand and you just want to import everything in here into the sequence, you do the same thing but instead of selecting new comp, you select active comp and everything is loaded into your active comp. One thing to note here is that your resolution of your comp needs to be the same as your camera. Let's say it wasn't. Let's say, you know, we're working on a preview resolution. Now we're ready to bring everything up to the full scale resolution. Let me put this footage to the full frame. You can see that now things don't line up anymore. And you know, while you could export again out of Houdini and that might be the right thing to do, you can also manually fix that by going onto your camera under camera options and zoom, alt click and just add an expression here 
what you want to do is do the new resolution width divided by the original resolution. So the new one's 1920, the original one was 1280. And now when I commit that, you can see that everything lines up again. The last thing to mention is that we have an object level node here, but we also have the same node under the out context, um, which can help maybe if you're working with, you know, your render node or working in tops, this might be easier. All right, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.